I believe that we're not steering the ship. I believe yeah. somebody, something. And that's destiny. Ship, that's what you know? destiny is, is that you're eventually going to find your way to your purpose or your calling or the people that are supposed to be in your life. That is what destiny is. You know what I mean? So, yeah, nobody is steering the ship, but the, the footsteps are ordered. And so you're eventually going to be where you're supposed to be. Tying that back to, you know, the people who get crushed by life. You know, you have to be willing to just take another step. Take another step. Exactly. Because you know? nothing I've ever done over the course of my life was what I thought. It didn't go the way I thought it was going to go. It, it didn't happen. Yeah. You know, I put my plan of action, you know, a plan of attack into action and tried to do the thing. And every time I tried to do what the hell I wanted to do, it was fucked up. <laughs> and then the minute I just it's released, true. you know, and just said, hey, okay, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm going to have my thought process of my goals and what I want to achieve, but I'm not going to try too hard to steer how those Definitely. things I will. Stay out of my own way. Yes, get out That's your own it. way. Get out of your own way, <laughs> there man. It is. My wife said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this reality. We're going to do. Um, we're gonna write some shows. We're going to do this. I said, okay, okay, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. And this is where we at. We got here now. Mm-hmm. You don't have any expectations. That's 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 it. Not at all. When you don't expect anything, you can't be disappointed. Yeah. All you're doing is just working and moving within the within the energy and the space. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And that's when people too much press put too much pressure on their lives to ha- like. If I left here and said, "Shit, babe, I want a Tyson Ranch <laughs> and I want to have be able to have room with shit and do interviews ranch. and shit." You know, the Tammy Ranch. I want that shit. And then I start trying to work towards that. If that's not what the fuck i'm supposed to be doing it's never gonna be this yeah you understand what i'm saying no matter how hard i try oh i can't find the cameraman oh the people lay i can't find the (laughs) building you know it's never gonna work out Mm -hmm. you know so i gotta everybody's gotta stay in their lane and stay their course because what's meant for you is not necessarily meant for me and what's meant for me is not necessarily meant for him and so on and so forth but the problem with society is people come here and they look at you and go shit if Mike got that shit, I can have it too. That shit must be yeah, easy to hey, get. Hey, listen, it's true, but with a price. Yes. But that's what people don't know because yeah. they're looking at just surface. Yeah. And they don't know the blood, sweat, and tears and the cost and everything it takes to make this work and how the people have to be really <laughs> fuck with you and rock with you to make sure that they show up every day to make this shit work. They don't know that. They're just looking at what's happening on the out, the gloss and glitz of it all. And that's where people fuck up because that's what they do. They look at the gloss and the glitz or the aesthetic of something and go, I w-, just like the bitches who's getting their asses done. You look at a bitch and go, shit, I want that. That shit, <laughs> this bitch has got a two million followers on Instagram and she getting, she posting ads and shit and getting paid. I'm going to give me some ass. And then the bitch end up looking like a potato. You know, that wasn't your shit to do.